Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. In the flow of Black History Month, we want to continue highlighting the cultural impact of African Americans in this country. What better way to do that than to talk about something that has all impacted us, which is music. Mm -hmm. Here to tell us about the new National Museum of African American Music set to mm. open this summer in Nashville is CEO Henry Hicks. Good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's exciting yeah. to be here. It is yes. exciting yeah. and exciting for what you are doing and spearheading. We're very excited about that. But let's talk about the impact of music, yeah. especially, particularly with African American people. Yeah, well, you know what? It's the soundtrack of our lives, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got a, a birthday or a wedding or any kind of a special occasion. Or just waking up in yeah. the morning. You're just waking up in the morning, <laughs> right. right? I mean, there's, there's a soundtrack. There's a song that goes along with that. And so often, you know, the narrative of American music sort of marginalizes black folks. Mm -hmm. And of course, R&B and hip hop are the leading mm -hmm. genres in the world, but there's not a place that really tells that story. Mm -hmm. um, and so the National Museum of African American Music will do that right in the heart of downtown Nashville. Wow. And we really hope it will become something of a home base yes. for, for the culture. Yeah, yeah. that's you know? good. Yeah, no, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go off script a little bit here. Yeah. You know, I went to Tennessee State and graduated from TSU. And yeah. um, I was in Nashville, spent a, a, a great number of my years in Nashville. And uh, to see that you have something so monumental in prime real estate, yeah. as an African American man, it blows my wig back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud of you, I have to tell you. Uh, how did that come about? Do you think the energy of Nashville is changing? I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really just floored. Yeah, so the city is growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing how, how rapidly it's growing. And the Music City brand that is Nashville is also expanding. And so we've actually had a lot of support from the city awesome. and from the community, from the government, from all quarters are excited about this museum coming. And we really want Music City to be a representation of the all nation. All music. Like right. All music. Yes. Music City. Yeah, yes. yeah. And of course, I mean, you know, Nashville has a rich African American history Blue and heritage. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, well, rich uh, history and music, period. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and country music, especially. Yeah, yeah. gospel yeah. and, and uh, symphonic music big time, they're gaming music. And so we just want to tell the whole story. Yes. And so we're exactly. really excited. Labor Day weekend mm -hmm. this year, yeah. it's going down in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Well, African American culture has influenced every genre of music. Yeah. Um, and you know, we talk about Nashville and, and, and it being uh, almost a music mecca, but people don't know about the Charlie Prides. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't. Yeah. So how, how do you plan to incorporate all of the influence yeah. that right. music has had? Right. Yeah. Well, you know, so we really take the position that American music started with uh, the transatlantic slave trade mm -hmm. and the fact that innovation was really required when black folks landed on these shores. Um, and so we're going to really cover everything from slave songs to hip hop. Yes. Uh, wow. in, in seven Look galleries in the museum Gorgeous. in downtown Nashville. And so we'll get it in. I mean, from you know blues to R&B and hip hop and techno and disco and yeah. you know, gospel and spirituals, like whatever you want, it'll be right there. Right. So, Right, Mr. Hicks, can you talk to us about the thought you had yeah, from I was thinking thought that. to fruition? Yeah. Can you take us through that process? Yeah, well, I, well, it's it's been a fight and it was not my thought. Okay. I mean, it was actually some some city leaders in Nashville who said this is something that we need to do, and I just was fortunate enough to kind of be be there uh, with kind of a combination of business skill and I suppose tenacity yes, to kind of yes. fight alongside with those folks to get it done. And so it's been one hell of a journey. It's right. been 20 years wow. in the making. Oh my God. Um, and so, uh, and now we're less than six months from opening. Man, wow, that, that is yeah. so fantastic. Yeah, so that is excited. so fantastic. What are some of the exhibits can we expect to see here? Yeah, so we, we made it a point, you know, if you think about most music museums, they focus on a genre, a label, or an artist. Mm -hmm. We decided to really put it in a historical context. And so our galleries are named after songs that are intended to give you a sense of time, place, mm -hmm. and genre. So, mm. so, exciting. Yeah. So, so exciting. So Wade in the Water, Crossroads, A Love Supreme, One Nation Under a Groove, Ooh. and The Message. Yeah. And so that's what we'll deal yeah. with. And so we've had a battery of scholars work with us to pull it together. So we're going to get it academically right, yes. but we're going to have a party at the museum. Yes. Yes. I think we'll be there. Absolutely. Yes. You need yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sister Circle Live from Nashville. Yeah. I like it. That. Yes, yeah. but what what do, what experience do you want people to take away from yeah. their visit at the yeah. museum? Good. Well, you know there are a couple of things. I mean, we say one nation under a group. That's our tagline. It's really important. We we think music is something that brings us all together. Mm -hmm. We're living in a 
in a divisive period in yes, our we country. Are, yeah. Music is something that we all share. Uh, we also want you know folks from all walks of life, all cultures, to really realize how important the African American contribution has been to American music. And then we also want people to realize that genres are blended. Mm -hmm. And so there's, you know, I often ask the question, you know, is what, what genre would you put Ray Charles in? Mm. Well, I'm that's not, a tough one. Yeah. He's done them all. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's and, done and what genre would you put Kirk Franklin in? Right. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm not sure what the answer to those questions is. And that's the part of the story that mm -hmm. we want to tell is it all fits together. We can all celebrate. We can all have a great time. And, and so Black History Month uh, is a great time to kind of start that messaging and letting folks know we're coming. Yes, yes. What, what yeah. were you able to kind of learn about yourself musically throughout this process? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, so That's I'm good. the son of a Baptist preacher. Uh -huh. right. uh, and so some of those roots come out yeah. every, every now and then in terms of my own personal experience. But, you know, I went to college here in the AUC. Yes. Uh, and, and so lots of influences there from you know, house music, and mm -hmm. certainly I grew up in D.C., go-go music. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so all of that, all yes. of that comes out. I'm from the DMV area, too. There we go, yeah. there we go. So my, my curators on the team, we've got a really talented team yeah. of Ph.D., ethnomusicologists and historians who oh, are doing wow. their thing. Um, and so, you know, every now and then I get on their nerves because I go in their offices and try to tell them what should be in the story. Right. They say, thank you very much, you know, but you go on about God bless you, good night. Right, right, right. right. Well, this, this is big. This yeah. is really so big. big. We're very excited for you yeah. and yeah. so many of the people that have come together to make this happen. Absolutely. Mr. Hicks, uh, it's going to be great. The Black, Mu the Black Museum is set to open this Labor Day weekend. Head to blackmusicmuseum.org to find out more information on this amazing endeavor. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you so much.